big fish just over there. Pretty sure he's seen us, but he still seems relatively happy. We're going to try to get him on the screen. Get a buddy cast in him before he moved off, and then the fellow that was just over there he actually turned to follow something down in the flow and then saw us and he parked up under some bushes. He had a look at a cicada and then he buggered off once I snagged in front of him and almost stepped on his face. They have a tendency to do that every now and then. The wind is smashing, it is absolutely smashing through, it's going to make things hard. I've, I've chucked on a Royal Wolf with a size 14 tungsten pheasant tail dropper. We may go down to a 16 yet, I'm not sure. We'll see, we'll see who's about and how we're feeling once we spot them. But if nothing else, the sun's shining. I saw some birds singing. Always happy. Happy and cold. Happy and cold is better than sad and cold, or cold and wet. We may achieve all three of those yet. Radio. It's mosey on up. We've stopped for lunch. What have we got today for lunch, Uh, uh Roche lamb and vegetables. The uh, back country. We'll see how back country goes. Well, well, the boy is really how to sort out de high food. We'll give you an update on the situation. The river is cold, and we are now wet. We had a bit of wading around the edge. The pole managed to keep the ball bags dry though, so that's always a win. The river's quite cold. Had a bit of rain in the headwaters oh, probably the last couple of weeks and there's been a good dump of snow about a fortnight ago so yeah yeah the temperature's down. Seen two fish so far. Uh, one had a lock, the other one pissed off, he didn't want to play, which is fair enough. I probably wouldn't want to end up on YouTube with a hook through my mouth either, but we're gonna get some lunch into us. We'll push up through these pools, see who's around the corner. The big boy that I caught in the last video, he's up this neck of the woods somewhere. We'll keep an eye for him again. And the plan is to get uh, back to the van cruiser before dark. It's April the 20, oh, about the 19th or somewhere around there. So by half past six, she's going to be torch weather. And I'd, I'd rather not be out here with the young fellow with the torch. Oh. Yeah, so there's, there's a bit of wind. Tell me about your delicious meal that you've got. What is it, man? Roast beef and no, roast lamb. Nice and loud. Roast, roast lamb and vegetables. Is it roast lamb and vegetables? Yeah. Cool. Pretty tasty? Nice and hot? Too hot.
Well, what do you reckon? Awesome. Pretty awesome. Still pretty windy. We've seen probably uh, maybe five or six fish. Had one looked interested, but everything else is really spooky. I think the wind's playing a pretty big part today. The fish seem to be hard on the edges. I've only seen a couple of fish out feeding and uh, they both buggered off pretty quick. We've got to push on now. A couple of hours of daylight left. We've got to get back to the wagon. Should be fine. Should be fine. Have Bloody wind's giving us a beating today. Seen plenty of fish. Just can't get an accurate bloody cast at them. And when you think you've got it sussed, it swings around the other way, halfway through a cast, and throws your line everywhere. It's amazing. Crikey Dickens, what a day we've had. No hookups, nothing at all. Seen maybe five or six, about five or six? Yep. About five or six. Pretty hard work today. The wind has been absolutely pumping us the whole bloody day. Uh, I'm only using a 12 foot leader today. Probably could have gone down to nine foot. It was that bloody hard to control, but nonetheless, we spotted some good trout, balls them all up. But had a bloody good time and that's what black creek's all about cheers for your subscriptions and views this is our last backcountry video for 2018 the season closes in about a week and i'm back to work anywho we'll uh, spot you later cheers